maybe you shouldn't tell anybody that I said this, but you know all those tropes about Jews controlling the world, or at least wanting to control the world? They're actually true. Our goal as Jewish people for the last 3,300 years since the revelation at Sinai has been to control the world. And the vision that we have for controlling this world is it would become a place of love, care, kindness, no war, no conflict, no envy, no jealousy, an awareness of a high authority, connection to God, goodness, charity, all the wonderful values that Judaism stands for. In fact, when, when we control the world, the mundane realities become holy realities. Everything is meaningful. Everything is attached to higher purpose. We've rolled out this control of the world in stages. First, there was Avraham who stood up to the world and said, you know, this business of just believing in whatever thing you believe controls your life is nonsense. There's a single God. And then it translated into the giving of the Torah where there was a code and follow this code both for the Jewish world and for the general world of how to get closer to Hashem. And then we rolled it out with various Phases, the Talmudic phase, the early medieval scholars, the revelation of Jewish mysticism. And there was one area of Judaism that kind of lagged. Because if you want to control the world, it doesn't help just to be in Israel or in Europe. What about the rest of the world? When do we get to share this influence, this beauty, this greatness, this holiness with the whole world? Today marks 80 years from when the Rebbe escaped from Nazi Europe together with his wife and arrived on the shores of America. And it was at that point in time that this explosion of bringing Judaism's vision to the whole world really happened in the form of Chabad emissaries, Chabad houses, the new Pew research that shows that Chabad is the upcoming aspect of Judaism in, in America, and not just the Jewish world, but touching the whole world to become a better, kinder, healthier, holier place. Today is the day for us to think, how can we control our piece of the world to become better, kinder, and holier? Have a great day. Stay safe and stay sane.